Guys, it's um, Red Bull Rocks 199, and um, I have uh, gonna get, show you guys how to raise some happy zebra finches, what to feed them, and just you know, it's the simple, the basics. And uh, so, for food, I give them the uh, this cocktail fiesta mix. They like this, and um, it's see they can't eat that, that big stuff, but it's got little seeds in there too. And they like to work for their food. They don't, you know, they appreciate it. And so, because in the wild, you know, they have to actually go and just take what they could get. So they like to pick out the stuff they want. And I give them this um, stuff. It's like a like a seed string or some. It's it's called like spray mulei. They like this. Um, you know, you just throw one in there. They love it. And then that. I'll show you. And so. I know my fingernails painted, my little sister did that in my sleep. Sorry about that. Don't think I'm weird. Um, so, there's the thing, and they're, that's just the toy they have, and then they're what? See, they, they pick out all those seeds, and so, yeah, um, they like that thingy that's hanging there. That'll, they like to chew on that. It's this stuff, uh. Yeah. And so, and then this did just love this. Um, um, I have a female and a male. The one that right there, the orange cheeks. That's the male. His name is Kenny. And right there, uh, yeah, her name is Rita. Um, and so yeah, that and this is called Cuddlebone. It's like styrofoam. That's what it feels like, and it's, you know, they, they like that. And um, so in the summertime, for, like, nests and stuff to stay in, they like this. This is my house I have for them in the summer. They can actually, like, build a little nest. It's like a coconut. And uh, they trim their beak on it, too. So they like that. And in the winter... A little bit cooler, um, and this is how you can keep them busy if it's kind of you know, you see that that little ball over there is like a uh, hamster, but, uh, yeah, that's like for hamsters and guinea pigs, you know. But I so I bought one of those and I stuffed it with hay. And what they do is they go on it and they pick the hay out and they put it in their nest and they build a little nest, and that keeps them very busy. and Every week or so, you can kind of like, you know, screw their nest up and it'll keep them busy. You know, you can just screw it up so they can rebuild and just... So, and for, and in the winter, I put them in these houses so that they keep warm in there. And if you're trying not to uh, breed them, and uh, so they'll let, they will lay eggs. Um, the male will, I mean the, uh, the female will, and she, um, I just, you can just pick them out, she doesn't care, um, if, yeah, you just pull them, and you can bring them to your local pet store, and, or you can just, you know, throw them away, um, she, she don't care, and, um, she, and if you, you can put like little marbles in their nest to keep them from doing it, and uh, so kind of keep them from laying eggs. And so they like to chew on this thing, and they just the, this I recommend this type of perch. It's got like feels like sandpaper. They will trim their beaks on it, and um, yeah, I have kind of a big cage for them, and I only have two. That's okay. And uh, so, yeah, there's one of their things. And, um, yeah, so they're a little hap they're happy. And, uh, yeah. So, they, uh, 
you know. They're very, uh, playful, like, you know, I recommend getting some, like, little toys for them, like that thing down there. They'll just kind of, like, peck at that. And, um, you, you really want to have a, uh, a couple different variety of perches. I only have two. But, you know, and then Kenny over here, he do, he really kind of does this the most. But he'll come and grab onto the sides, like Spider-Man or something. And, um, so, yeah, they kind of want me to flee, I can tell, because they're opening their beaks and kind of puffing up. When they open their beaks, it means they're hot and agitated. And so, I have this. I haven't really put that on because it's, you know, um, you want to change their environment because they get bored every, uh, maybe every month or so, and so, yeah, and their little ball, I definitely recommend this, yeah. Yeah, and for a cage, I recommend one that has this thing so you can catch that they're messy. And um, you have if you don't have this ball, you kind of I I recommend it for this reason too. Their paper down here, you want to have one of these. That's the slide out tray. You just replace the paper down there. They will like start to rip out the paper and put it in their ne <laughs> their nest. So. Yeah, they do that. So, there's Rita and Kenny. And, um, yeah. They're not really a bird that likes to be handled. They will, they're kind of, um, you know, it's not like a parrot where you have to, like, bring them out and kind of have time with them. They can, and they can last on a... You know, it'll be like four days with one bowl of food there, so you can use seven bowl. And, um, this definitely helps. Getting their cage, yeah, you can see Kenny's doing his thing where he hangs on to the side there. And, um, yeah. And this helps a lot, this kind of, you open this and you just pull their thing out, so, yeah. So, they like that. And, um, this is good for the winter. Um, you have to replace one of these. You should buy a few. See, I have a few of them. Because they'll, they'll, like, poop in their nest and it, you know, gets kind of dirty in there, so. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah. There, oh, coconut. So, bye, thanks for watching.